welcome to Eking Out with Mally Mo. I'm Melissa. I am super excited for today's video because today we'll be unboxing the August 2022 box by the Wizarding Trunk. This is part of their bi-monthly subscription service and this month's theme is a potions class and we are debuting a new box as well. Stay tuned. Today we're opening the August 2022 box by the Wizarding Trunk. This is part of their bi-monthly subscription service and this month's theme is Potions Class. I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am about this box. When I heard that that was going to be an upcoming theme, I was just so excited because I'm a sucker for potions. I think that potions and pins are like the items that I like the most from the Wizarding Trunk. I'm just so pumped for this. It's like this box was just made for me. <laughs> I am also really excited to see that we have a brand new box. It actually looks like a trunk, so I love it. Uh, right in the front, it says the Owlery, and I think it looks adorable with like a little shield here. We have an owl, and it's just really, really cute. Also on the back, we see that we can find the Wizarding Trunk on Facebook and Instagram. On the side, it says First Class Owl Post. So again, super duper cool that they made this to look like a trunk, like a real trunk. On the side it says Fragile Magical Delivery and it has the W for Weeksleys. So that is really cool. I'm also wearing my Amortensia inspired earrings because we're opening the Potions Class box. I also wanted to say that the Wizarding Trunk gifted me this box to review but all the opinions here are my own. Also, I am an official rep for them, so I do have a discount code to share with you guys. It is MELLYMAIL10. You can use this on your first box from any of their subscription services because they have bi-monthly and they also have quarterly, but you can also use this discount on any purchases from their store. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and open this. I already pre cut it just to kind of make it easier on camera. So we are going to open this together. All right, you guys. Sneak peek. <laughs> so let's see what we have. It says preparation of Gilly Tonic. So this is really cool. So it gives you the ingredients and the instructions. Uh, okay, and on the back we have a cheat sheet. So we're gonna put this to the side. Ooh. Okay, I see some really cool stuff right off the bat. So, oh my gosh. Okay, where do I even start? Okay, <laughs> let's start with the t-shirt because this is, uh, it's just caught my eye. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Okay, uh, I'm like, oh my goodness, I really, oh. <laughs> it's like this was made for me. I mean, look at this. It says Potions Club. I will totally be wearing this to Universal. How cool is that in the back? Oh, <laughs> look at the back. Isn't this cool, you guys? I love it. Okay, so. I am super pumped for this. I cannot wait to wear this. So first item, so cool. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Ooh. Okay, so you know how I said at the beginning of the video that I'm a sucker for uh, potions and pins? Look at this, you guys. Ah. <laughs> so we have another portrait pin, but this one is none other than Severus Snape. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me show you guys some close-ups.
Wow, so far we have two amazing items. So um, on top, I see what it looks like, another pin, so let's grab that as well. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. This pin is so cool, you guys. I am so, I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, so this is another The Wizarding Trunk exclusive pin. And here we have the Living Death Potion. I mean, how cool is this pin? And also, Halloween is just around the corner, so it's also like the perfect halloween -y pin. I love it. All right, so the fun continues. We're just getting started, you guys. Okay, so what is this? Warwick's premium potioner equipment. Okay, so it is made by the Wizardry Workshop. Okay, so so far I really like the packaging. So what is this going to be? I don't want to ruin the packaging, right? So I'm trying to be really careful when I open this. Okay. What is this? This is so cool. Oh, I don't know what it is, but we have some like pieces here. Um, I wonder if this is going to be like um, like a carousel for like a, a candle. I forget what they call it, <laughs> like a candle carousel. I think that is what this might be. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out. So I'm assuming this is going to go here. Um, Hopefully, I am putting this together the right way. Um, actually, I mean, maybe it's like scales. Okay. It looks like they're going to be scales, but how do, they, how do I put this together? Assuming this is going to go here. Okay, so we have some... Oh my goodness. And these are just the little scales. This is so cool, you guys. And here we have the weights. And it looks like you can actually put these in uh, on the base. This is so cool. Okay, this is a beautiful display item. We have a lot more, so ah, I see a potion. Okay. Oh, it says calming drought drought <laughs> number two, and this was made by Alchemy for the skin. It looks like this is made with sea salt, hibiscus, lavender, pink Himalayan salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers this is so cool it looks like this is going to be maybe for some kind of bath maybe or soak this is a really pretty all right so what else do we have here so i kind of want to take this big box out there's still plenty in there okay so what is this oh whatever this is this is big right out of uh, made out of ceramic it looks like and then it looks like you just hang this here and it looks like a tea light goes in here which I am pretty sure I saw a tea light in here haha -ha, here we go and yeah we have an unscented tea light and I am assuming this is like a tart warmer this is is adorable <laughs> and let's go back to our box and here we have a black lace wing flies ah <laughs> i guess this does open let's see if we can get this to open i'm curious to see 
I guess the flies. <sighs> this is such a cool box. I mean, how cool is that? All right. <laughs> Let's go back to our little box. I want to see if this actually opens. It's opening. Ew! <laughs> um, they are actually uh, flies. <laughs> and there is more. This is just to um, put some cushion in there. What is this? We have the key. Oh, like potions, um, key. It says PS, right now I can't really think of anything, oh my goodness. But it's like a potions class key. I cannot think of PS. Fake fan moment. <laughs> but this is, really, this is a really pretty key. We have a cauldron on top. Again, what it looks like, the Felix Felix is towards the bottom. But wait, there's more. It feels like an infomercial. <laughs> um, there's a lot more in here, you guys. Oh, okay, what is this? We have Armadillo Bile Orange Blossom Squeezable Wax Melt. Hmm. Hmm. Does this smell like anything? Let me see. Oh, it does. Oh, this is cool. This is probably some kind of scrub. Um, this is really cool. And we have a few more things. Okay. Bone regen, like regeneration. Is this gonna be like their own version of the Skelligro? I don't have any of those uh, type of potions, so if that's the case, I am so excited. <gasps> it is! Oh! I am so excited for this because I did not, I did not have any like Scalagro type potions. Look at this, you guys. This is so cool. I love the level of detail. I love that we have like a simulated cork. Stop at the very top. All right, so we are almost done. So I'm just gonna try to take everything else out just to make some room here on the table. I'm not really going to look. All right, empty box. By the way, we also have some details on the inside of the box. Okay, so we're gonna move this to the side. So we have a big box here. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, what is this? <laughs> oh, we have ingredients here. So we have a glass bottle. Oh, we have a sticker to make our own gilly tonic. And We have this, and we have this little um, burlap bag that has some stuff on the inside too. I love this. I truly feel like this is like potions class. Oh my goodness, only if I could open this, right? <laughs> All right. And, oh. <laughs> so here we have, uh, some of the things that you would put inside the potion. We have some like little pebbles and, and some gilly itself. Okay, so we're gonna grab the cheat sheet because this is going to guide us as to how to make this potion. Okay, so we're gonna do this right now. Preparation of gilly tonic. So the ingredients, stones collected from the body of water you intend to swim in. So they're right here. Two pieces of magical water plant which they are right here. So here we have our magical water plant. And then our pebbles are in here. So I'm just gonna take them out. Ah! <laughs> okay, so we have all of our pebbles right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna set them on my table. Okay. 
okay and then water collected from the body of water you intend to swim in so we'll have to fill this up and then 10 millimeters of infusion of wormwood so i'm assuming it's this and one gram of silver i don't think we have that instructions place the stones into your bottle this is so cool you guys okay so we're gonna put our stones in here all right i am geeking out about this <laughs> this is so cool so so cool we are making our own potion in here all right so we have all the pebbles in there or stones next arrange your magical water plant in the bottle so it runs the entire length from top to bottom okay so we're going to put this in here let's see how we can do it okay so it is actually two plants like the ingredients said so let's see we're gonna put this in here all right <laughs> okay. Next, fill your bottle with water. If you're unable to obtain it from the body of water you intend to swim in, you can use crystal imbued water or tap water. Note, the length of time you will be able to breathe underwater will be shortened. So I guess we'll go get some water. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, you guys. So we added some water. I filled it up to like here. Okay, next it says combine your silver with infusion of wormwood. For ease, these ingredients were combined for you and are included in the same vial. So this contains our silver in our wormwood. And it says shake the infusion of wormwood in silver vigorously exactly 23 times if she can even one extra time you must allow the mixture to set for approximately one to two hours and repeat this process then pour the mixture into your bottle so let's take one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three all right my mother's our next one <laughs> got carried away all right so now we should be able to pour this into the bottle all right this is so cool okay and then cork your bottle and add the label so we're gonna put the cork okay all right safely in there and we're going to add our label Let's put this right oh oh my goodness it was upside down <laughs> put it right here ah this is so cool you guys okay so there is my label and it says give the bottle a shake to ensure the infusion of wormwood and silver are incorporated in your liquid has a green tint. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. This is so cool, you guys. Um, that was so cool. <laughs> This was literally potions class. Okay, well, we have a couple more things. Next, we have preparation of the wolf's bane potion. Ah, this is cool. I wonder if this is going to go in our book. It has a page number. Okay, we're going to add this to the book. Let's go get our book. All right, the next item we have is this beautiful print. Ah, oh, I love this. Look at this. It's so pretty. I need to frame this. It's really pretty. All right, so the time has come to read the cheat sheet. 
so let's get started potions class welcome to potions class students the gilly tonic recipe for the potion you'll be making today is on the back of this card let's get class started and brew greatness first item we have listed is the potions club t-shirt this super soft shirt is only available for members of the potions club designed for us by wizardry workshop it's a the wizarding trunk exclusive next we have the cauldron wax warmer designed to make your room smell just like the potion you're brewing that's a the wizarding trunk exclusive next we have armadillo bile wax melt oh okay so this isn't a scrub <laughs> oh it says a few drops of this squeezable wax melt into your new wax warmer will fill your room with the amazing scent of armadillo bile or orange blossoms created for us by Inflamer candles label design by wizardry works That's another the wizarding trunk exclusive this is so cool so this goes with that we have the portrait pin this portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potion classes that's a the wizarding trunk exclusive next we have the potion storeroom key this key allows you access to the potion master's private storeroom designed for us by jp mistlecrow that's another the wizarding trunk exclusive next we have the potions class print which is gorgeous and it says a view from your desk during potions class created by queen map that's another the wizarding trunk exclusive next we have a page torn right out of perfect potions designed for us by wizardry workshop that's another the wizarding trunk exclusive so i put mine in my magical creatures a to z binder for now but i love it next we have the black lace wing flies Next, we have the Bone Region Potion. This healing potion mends and strengthens broken bones. It can also regrow vanished bones entirely. That's a The Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Next, we have the Living Death Pin. I dare say one drop would kill us all. Designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. Next, we have the Gilly tonic diy kit it's time to brew your gilly tonic to breathe underwater we can't wait to see the bottles that you make decorate them however you like and tag us with hashtag twt potions class on instagram again i'm gonna put the hashtag right on my screen hashtag twt potions class on instagram I will be adding mine to that as well. Of course, this is so cool. Label designed by Wizardry Workshop. Kit prepared by Pure Blood Apothecary, the Wizarding Drunk exclusive. And um, just in case, this liquid should not be consumed. Next, we have the Vintage Brass Scale, which is beautiful. The box was designed by Wizardry Workshop, and it's amazing. And last, we have the Calming Draw bath potion right here this mixture by alchemy for the skin contains pink himalayan salt hibiscus lavender sea salt rose petals and calendula flowers and it makes a calming bath and looks great on any potion shelf labeled by the wizardry workshop that's another the wizarding trunk exclusive and the next bi-monthly theme is all hallows eve and it's on sale august 15 today is august 15 is when i am recording this video so you'll see it tuesday the 16th so the box technically went on sale yesterday the 15th definitely make sure you get it i love all hallows eve and halloween and if you want a discount use my code melly mel 10 so you can save some money well i love this box but now let's go over favorites and least favorites i loved the entire box i think it was so cool i love that we got to actually make our own potions you know for potions class and it looks great I love this little tart warmer and I love that we have everything for it. I love that we got this. The shirt is beautiful. The pins, the print, the scales. Wow. I love the whole box. It's really, really hard to pick 
a favorite. I am going to cheat. The whole box is my favorite. I do not have a least favorite item. Again, it's so hard to pick a favorite. Uh, I'm just going to say the whole box. Does that even count? I mean, I just can't pick. I don't have a least favorite item. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this box. Definitely let me know which one was your favorite. As usual, if you love the things that I talk about, definitely subscribe, comment, like, and hit that notification bell so that you can keep winking out with me. Bye!